Hi, this is Cheryl, Sea Spirit Tarot. I won't say I'm still here, but I don't think I've actually released anything today, but um, the 31 days of Tarot, the release at midnight that I already had made. I have been on a marathon. I have made, talk about Lord of Light, huh? Steady and soft, Lord of Light, light everywhere. Um, I've made, I think, four videos today. One of them twice because I'm so inept with my phone and trying to show the tarot trinkets, as I call them, <laughs> magic tarot elements. But before I did that, I laid a spread. And I just want to run through that spread because this is, this is part of my study. And I'm working on my card. My creativeness is is so, I don't know where it is, it's been so squashed, and then I just read Pisces and Mercury isn't real creative, well, too bad, I'm, I'm not, but it, but it feels good to use that energy to do it, but I don't think I'll ever be an artist trying to painting a tarot deck. So anyway, our reading for today is our thought lesson, and let's just spin through it quickly. So, first I drew three cards for Thoth. And they were the sun, the nine of swords, and the three of discs. And my question was, I turn backwards all the time. My question was, do I, should I film all these videos right now? Should I get this done, knocked out today? Because, you know, I just realized I really haven't done my card of the years and card of the weeks. And I've been watching all these journals and... And I want to get some of that stuff done. But I'm on this challenge, and this is so good for me. So the first card to come out, came out on its own, Emergence. Emergence. So this is Acturian Star Code. There's the back. Neural Pathways. And the second tarot card to come out, this is after I draw the Thoth, right? is spiritual quest, right? Spiritual quest. May the light be with you. Don't they say that in church? Go forth, may the light be with you. We've got so much light. Colors here are magnificent. So our three thought cards came up. First one was the sun, is. Second one, nine of wands which Thoth calls strength. Crowley kind of symbolizes nightmares. And the three of discs. So this is going to be quick because cutting it down and I'm using Crowley's, Crowley's words basically. I meant to turn this light on here. I even crawled all under there and plugged it all in. Now it's not going to work for me. Huh, that will help me. Okay, we'll start with the sun. Major Arcana sun card. We, we all know that. The, the rebirth of the sun, the sun soul source. Crowley calls it Lord of the Fire of the World. Lord of the Fire of the World. Reborn into our sun soul self. Move that violet. It's real violet in the in the camera, but not. But it's violet anyway. Lord of the fire of the world. Give forth. I like to read what Crowley wrote because really that's all you need to know, and then the rest you can gather later. Give forth thy light to all without doubt. The clouds and shadows are no matter for thee. So stay balanced, uh, and commune with your intuition, your divine above. The clouds and shadows are no matter. Just go forth with thy light, with no doubt. Make speech and silence, energy and stillness, twin forms of thy play. So unite. In, enjoy, you know. Enjoy the speech, 
the word you can give forth, but enjoy the silence when you can hear. Enjoy the energy of movement and the stillness. Twin forms of thy play. For this eon, this card for Crowley represents the complete emanci emancipation, freedom, I, I, I'm calling it freedom, um, ascension of the human race. So trying to decide whether to crank out all these videos today. This was my first card. I took that as a go. Take that to go. The second card is the nine of wands. Oh, I'm wrong. I was thinking of the nine of swords. Nine of wands. This is that guy defending the, the wounded warrior, I think they call him. But he calls it strength. I like pip cards. Lord of great strength. This is the moon in the first 10 to 20, 10 to 20 degree deacon of Sagittarius. And the moon, even though, I mean, it's at home there. It looks like the sun, but the book says the moon. I guess there's a moon and the sun. I didn't get my magnifying glass out. I have to use my magnifying glass on some of these. Seat of the great crystallization of the energy. Nine being the fullest development of the forces in relation to the force above it. So as I say, a nine, a nine is more static than a 10, because like the 10 is like the duname, but the nine is, is you have achieved, you have achieved. And this is, again, one, sun, soul, action. So, so far I'm thinking that I'm gonna have enough energy to get all this stuff done from my sun, soul source that's having me do this YouTube channel. The third card, Lord of Material Worth. Where do we need to be over here? And this is Mars in the first 10 to, 10 to 20 degrees of Capricorn. So this is going to be that thrust, that fire thrust to get things done. And I'm actually quite surprised because I don't know what time it is. I want to say it's 730 maybe. But like I said, I have made, I think this is my sixth video. And I had to fight with YouTube for a real long time. And I did the dishes and I did some other things. And I'm starting to wind down. But you know, I made a commitment to do this and I made a commitment to myself. And I can go lay in bed and go waha boohoo or I can do all this and just be empowered. So, Lord of Material Worth, not Wealth. I'm just going to say Wealth, Worth. And boy, if I'm not working on Material Worth of my, my being, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Material Establishment as a Material Heart, the idea of the universe, the determination of its basic farm. And the three discs, if you can if you can see those, I don't see it. But I didn't look at this with my magnifying glass before. I'll look at it after. It's not not just a gorgeous card. I mean, um, is mercury, sulfur, and salt. So if this is the idea of the universe, the heart of the universe, and the determination in its most basic form, and here I have the. The strength of force with it and the sun, a major arcana, a wand and an earth, a spiritual quest and an emergence. What did I say? I can't make this stuff up, right? So that is my thought lesson for today. I, um, it's really all a project, <laughs> and I've been working on my um, my tarot card for a couple days, and oh my god, I feel like a fool. Can't feel like a fool, though, because didn't I just have some card here that told me I was like, A-okay. <laughs> May the goddess bless, many blessings. I will see you later. I have had a great time today. I have done nothing, basically, but 
Tayro and my few dishes and sort through some girly things. And I notice all of us, even even a couple of the older women that I watch, you know, women my age, everybody's talking about the girly feminine right now. This full moon in Cancer. Blessed be the answer is unconditional love. May the goddess bless. Have a wonderful full moon weekend, and I'll see you.